great job, you guys. Oh, okay. it, uh, wow, uh -huh. this one was a nail biter from beginning to end, mm -hmm. no question about it. But I have to ask, I mean, certainly you worked together before. You've got a lot of the exact same people coming back. It's got to be the comfort zone, first and foremost, I think. That's, that's it. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a fraternity. It becomes yeah. a fraternity. And, and you have these great friendships that people thrived on in the first one, and now you know you can take that somewhere else. You know, this, this knowing that they have and that we're celebrating a new moment in life that we've come to a certain point, and then all hell breaks loose. And how do those characters react to, to that situation? But it was great for us just to sit back into those, those roles. Is it easy to slip right back in? Yeah, it's easy when the when the script holds up and supports you, you know. So we really took a lot of, you really as producer, you know. Also, you know, took great pains to get that story right, to make it believable, to respect the audience, you know, the first audience, and and to you know with with a sequel, uh, just blow their minds, you know, even more so. Yeah, absolutely. For you, what about for you? Because look. Hello, we know he's in great shape. No question about it. And you work hard at it. It doesn't just, you know, you wake up and you're like, hey, I look great. Okay, with you, it probably does. But. No, I don't. <laughs> Trust me, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, it, costs a, it takes a lot of time to look like this. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Who said that? Is that the only part? Or it costs he a lot to look this cheap. He was 3D printers and, and, you know, and, and how you can make body parts with 3D printers. And he was very serious. He kept that conversation going like, what? It's true. <laughs> They're 3D printing body parts right now. It's insane. I'm it's thinking. Put, put, put the work in. Put the work in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep putting true. the work in. That's true. <laughs> I'm going like, to 3D print abs. That would be awesome. Exactly. Yeah, get those you get 300 abs squares, right? Dude, for sure. Yeah. yeah. You could, but no, seriously, though, but you really obviously have to work so hard to be in a film like this. Do, you know, are there any close calls? I mean, how do you keep up the stamina? Yeah, there's, there's, cl you, you do a lot of crazy stuff in these movies and, and some crazy stuff happens, you know? You get hit by flying cartridges, you're often, you land the wrong way, you pull something, and then when it's pulled, there's no fixing it. You, you can't take time off in a movie, at least in sports, they say they're out injured. We don't right, get right. to do that. So sometimes you, you pull a hip flexor, your back goes out, and you've still got another two months of work 14 hour days then all the training on top thank goodness for adrenaline, <laughs> you know? adrenaline. so you yeah it gets you through and then the day after cut wrap <laughs> then the building falls yeah right? i want to see this I, I was with the german team the night of the world cup the night they won the world cup and mm -hmm. i and i spoke to a schweinsteiger who was telling me how amazing the german team doctor was yeah. and the day we finished the yeah. day we wrapped in bulgaria i went to see him Did you? and spent a week with him giving me injections up my back, into my spine, he just guides it in, like 14 injections a day for five days, and uh, and then all this other stuff and talk. Was you know, he great? Was he amazing. Great? Oh, okay. Amazing. I was like, what? Well, yeah. On so, the end of that, put tag. Yeah. It was great. It was all they said it was. Injection it was great. In your spine. Yeah. <laughs> but my foot was up from the last day, so I'm in Germany and I'm walking to this doctor and I'm, having, I'm like limping to the doctor, barely walk. So. By the end of this, yeah, we're pretty, and, and that's what it is. You dive in there and you go, this character's going through all this and you're going through it. And that's how it kind of works, really. And are you ever, did you ever find you had to babysit Aaron Eckhart? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I babysit him in the movie, but in real life, he's a pretty tough cookie. He's probably tougher than I am. <laughs> he's, he's, a, oh, he's, he's solid. Yeah, yeah, I mean, really, you guys go through some intense stuff. Now, why is it so easy to work with this man? Why does everybody well, want to work with him? You see this enthusiasm, this charm, this, you know, this crazy. <laughs> 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 but uh, he's a good guy, and he is a hard, and he uh, diligent, diligent at it all. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like doing action stuff, Angela? I do, yeah. I do, I don't mind. Yeah, I do, I think I'm pretty solid, Natural. pretty believable, you know, so, uh, yeah, I like being able to throw down. Yeah, well, it's actually amazing to be in these scenes, though, because she's such a phenomenal actress. But then you're doing these crazy scenes. So to get, to almost break new ground together, for us yeah. to be doing that, you know, and you know it's something you don't do an awful lot. Yeah. So it's a privilege then to be a part of that, you know, and just to do scenes with her. I actually learn a lot from working with her. Oh, thank no, you. No, for real, for real. Well, yeah, no, you're, you are amazing. But one thing that blows my mind is you do not age. Like, you look exactly the same way I think that I've interviewed you 20 years ago. What is this, like, what's the secret here? We need to know. She does uh -huh. age. She gets younger. <laughs> I call it, I'm calling her. Angela Benjamin Button Bassett right now. What's the secret? What's the secret? What's the secret? secret? Uh, guys, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the team. You you look amazing. It's the team. It's what is no, it? It's, her, you, it's you always have... the team, and it's the attitude, right? Yeah, it's always. It. But she has a great 
I mean, an amazing attitude. Like it, we, we've gone through a lot in these movies together and she's never once been anything other than charming and excited. And you have, you have a very youthful energy. She's kind of like, you know, super smart, but like a big kid, excited, enjoys the work. And that, I think, generally, so I say learning mm -hmm. a lot, not just mm -hmm. as an actor, but as a person, how you conduct yourself mm -hmm. on, a, on a set, how you relate to other people. And I think she's a, a great a, a example. It's a great place. It's a great place. I respect it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, we love seeing you on American Horror Story. And I, I, you know, what, what is it about you know working on a show like that where it changes up all the time and you have the opportunities you know to work with somebody like Ryan Murphy? I mean, it's crazy good. It, it is just he, he's crazy creative, you know, and wild. And you read the script, you're like, what? Sometimes you had to put it down, walk around, <laughs> think. And you say, well, I done signed up, so <laughs> now I'm going to dive in. You're going to do it, you know? You show up, you do it, you know? Yeah. And for you, Jared, what, what is it these days now that gets your, you know, you have Gods of Egypt coming, you, you know, this one, you don't stop working, mm -hmm. you haven't visited us in Toronto in a while, I'm throwing that in there. But what is it about a script that, that gets you these days now? Oh, it can be many different things. Gods, because I still love, like a child, the ability to dip into these other worlds and discover that warrior part of yourself. Oh. This, because this is what I do. I mean, I love the chance to, to tell, uh, to, to make an action thriller, but with heart and humor and emotion. And then I just, I actually just made a movie in Toronto, which is a beautiful little drama about a father relating to his son all over again. His kid gets sick, um, which is such a beautiful ode to life. Um, and, and then I have a, a, another big sci-fi movie. It, it just has to be, it's in the moment. It's who I'm gonna be working with. It's the director, it's the ideas in the script. And, and now, because I develop as well, it's like, okay, well, this is, what's the idea? What's the kernel? And what can we do? What can we do? Where, where can you take it? You know? Yeah, mm -hmm. well, you take us to great places. You were both so great in this movie. And uh, it's always my pleasure to talk to both of you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank